So now next, uh, the question I want to ask about, uh, as you suggested, the model is really good for MSME sector, the micro, the household businesses are increasing. And uh, what I like about is that every product is a unique product. The brands are unique so that the competition is also comparatively so that everybody has get their own share. So would, would you like to uh, just highlight which are the specific sector actually the Azerbaijan is looking for maybe the investment opportunity from different part of the world. For example, if we are talking about now in, in Delhi and Indian businessmen, those who are keen for the opportunities of uh, Azerbaijan. Uh, just want to know from you, uh, His Excellency, what are the different opportunities for Indian businessmen and which sector they should focus? Uh, Indian uh, business people should know that uh, if they invest in a land of fire, Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan is translated as a land of fire, as Madam Gadkari said, and uh, then you are looking for investment opportunities in a country which is very conveniently located to three major markets European Union market, CIS countries market and Persian Gulf countries market. So producing in Azerbaijan you are uh, very close to these markets and you can target them with your products. Now where to produce, uh, uh, where to invest and how, what to produce. All right? so, it depends on the line of business. There are special economic zones in Azerbaijan. There are over 10 special economic zones in Azerbaijan where investors all over the world and Indian investors also can benefit for, from tax incentives for up to 10 years. So if they become residents of these special economic zones and they invest, for 10 years they don't pay profit tax, they don't take uh, pay property tax, no land tax for them. If they need to bring in equipment for establishing uh, their production, uh, zero tax at customs, no, no VAT tax at, uh, at customs. So this uh, is the opportunities that government of Azerbaijan is offering for Indian businesses. Now, what line uh, of business? I mean, there are special economic zones that are on recycling. So if you are in recycling business, you may choose this one. There are agricultural high-tech zones. So if you are in this line of business, you may choose that, that special economic zone. If you are producing electrical equipments, there is a special equi econo uh, economic zone for, for that. Chemical, petrochemical products, the special economic zone on that. High-tech products, special economic zone on that. But there is one special economic zone that stands aside. It stands uh, like a next generation special economic zone. That is Alat Free Economic Zone. It is uh, 65 kilometers from the capital of Baku city. It is on the shore of the Caspian Sea. And Alat Free Economic Zone, they give tax incentives for very long time, uh, forever. Oh. Yes. But they put two conditions. One is whatever uh, their residents produce should be of high value. This is the first condition. And second condition they put is that 75% of production should be sold outside of Azerbaijan, which is exactly in interest of Indian producers. Because Azerbaijan is located in the vicinity of European Union market, CIS countries market, Persian Gulf countries market. So those residents who would be residents of the Alat Free Economic Zone, they will be realizing the same concept to benefit from these major markets. Great. Uh, as uh, His Excellency rightly suggested, see the geographical location of any country really matters a lot when we think about the business. Uh, either you do the service sector or you specifically even talk about the manufacturing. And uh, when manufacturing is the base for Azerbaijan, so there are opportunities in the for the European. You should not just think about Azerbaijan. You should think about the lot of European countries where you can do exports. You can think about the Central Asia. 
because uh, there are uh, nearby countries in the Central Asia where you also can think to sell your goods there. So it's a definitely sir, it's a best opportunity for Indian businessmen, those who are manufacturers. So Indian manufacturer can definitely think Azerbaijan as one of the best option where there are a lot of subsidies are there, a uh, lot of uh, benefits uh, from the government side and a special economic zone where if you are ready to sell your goods 75 percent exports then lifelong you get this benefit so it's the really excellent opportunities